Hi, I'm Dr. Hand. I teach flute at McNeese, and I also have some middle school and high school students. So I want to talk to you about how to put the flute together so that everything can go well once you start to play. The hardest part is this piece right here. This is the head joint, and you have to practice where to put it on the chin. Just put it in the curve of your chin. Let your lip cover some of the hole. And then you can think of a spoonful of hot chocolate or a spoonful of soup. Or if the flute's there, you can think Winnie the Pooh. The air has to hit the other side and split, and that's the hard part. So you're going to want to practice just taking it down, putting it here, take it off. If you miss, it won't work. So there's that magic spot in the middle. And you can get more than one note if you cover up the end. And then there are high ones. Just by letting that lip flesh out over the flute. So that's the hardest part. Once you do that, you can put the whole flute back together and play notes. This hole, you want to line up with the first key on the flute. So the, the mouthpiece hole and the first key. The bottom piece, the foot joint, it looks like you should have these keys lined up. But you have to remember the pinky is shorter than the other fingers, so you got to come around here so your hand can cover these and still reach that. The pinky has to work a lot of keys, so it has to be the rod of the foot joint lined up with the key and up here the key and the hole. Sometimes it's, you can look at it this way and see that. Some people like to look down at it like a rifle. It doesn't matter as long as you get it lined up. Still has to be on that chin, curved in the curve with some lip. You should cover about a third of that hole and then you can get a good tone.